Today I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu on a MacBook powered by Apple Silicon like the M1, M2, M3 or the newer models. Whether you are a developer, a Linux enthusiast or just curious about trying Ubuntu on your Mac, this guide will walk you through the process step by step. With the help of virtualization technology, it's possible to run Ubuntu on M chip Macs. In this guide, we are going to use a free and open source virtualization tool called UTM. With UTM, you can emulate various operating systems including Linux distributions, Windows and more on a Mac computer. Now, we need to download the Ubuntu disk image for the ARM processor. Ubuntu's official website doesn't offer the ARM64 desktop image file. But do not worry, we have a workaround. We'll download the Ubuntu server image for ARM from the official Ubuntu website. The server image is designed for command line use only. In the following steps, we'll transform the server image into a fully functional Ubuntu desktop environment on your Apple Silicon MacBook. After the download is completed, let's create a new virtual machine in UTM. Click the plus button to create a new VM. Select the virtualize option as it leverages the native ARM64 architecture. The emulator option can run other CPU architectures, but it's much slower and not recommended. Select the Linux option as your operating system. Select boot from the ISO image and navigate to the Ubuntu server image you downloaded earlier. Give the VM at least half of your Mac's available RAM. This is essential for smooth performance. Allocate a good number of CPU cores, ideally half of the cores available on your Mac. If you are not sure how many CPU cores your Mac has, just go to the spotlight search and type system information. From the hardware overview section, you can check the total number of CPU cores and RAM size. As I have 8 GPU of RAM and 8 CPU cores, I can allocate 4 here. Set a reasonable amount of storage space for the virtual machine. Start with at least 50 GB, but you can adjust this later. Once you have completed this configuration, click Create to finalize your virtual machine setup. Then, select your new VM from the list and click Start to boot it up. Your virtual machine should start up, loading the Ubuntu installer. Follow the on-screen instructions to install Ubuntu onto the virtual disk. Just select Done in every step to accept the default settings and continue. Create your Ubuntu user account including username and password. Now the installation process starts. This will take 5 to 10 minutes. Once the installation is completed, select Reboot now to restart the virtual machine. After the reboot, stop the virtual machine in UTM. Then go to the VM settings and remove the Ubuntu ISO image from the CD DVD drive. After that, start your virtual machine again. Log into your freshly installed Ubuntu server using the username and password you created during setup. So till now, we have installed the Ubuntu server which only includes the core operating system and command line tools. To transform this into a usable desktop experience, we need to install the graphical desktop environment and associated applications. We are going to install Gnome, which is the default desktop environment in Ubuntu. While Gnome is the default for Ubuntu, you can also choose to install other desktop environments like KDE Plasma, LXQT or XFCE if you prefer a different look or functionality. To install Gnome, just run this command in the Ubuntu terminal.
The installation process may take around one hour, so be patient. After the desktop installation finishes, restart your virtual machine. You'll now boot directly into the Ubuntu desktop environment and be greeted with the familiar Ubuntu login screen. So congratulations, you are now running a full Ubuntu desktop system on your Apple Silicon Mac. I hope this guide was helpful. If you have any queries or errors in your installation, let us know in the comments below.